So while I've got the meter on the bench here, I thought I'd look at some capacitors with it. So we should be in the capacitance range. I've got my uh, BK Precision LCR meter here. I thought we'd just poke a few capacitors in both and just kind of do a side-by-side. -side. So this should be a 0.1 microfarad electrolytic. Little tiny guy. And let's just compare them side-by-side -side and see what we get. Hundred and three point nine nanofarads. Hopefully the glare on the screen is continuing to be not horrid. Hundred and four point nine nanofarads or microfarads, well, okay. Nanofarads, 104 point, yeah, I mean, 103 versus 104, that's essentially spot on to the, to the BK, and again, I'm not saying the BK is the, yeah, it's perfectly calibrated, so this is going to be a 1,000 microfarad, again, electrolytic, let's uh, just clip it up here and see what we measure, 976, 974, so 970-ish microfarads. Considering how cheap these Chinese capacitors are, that's probably a very acceptable value for it. And let's go back over to the BK, if I can get the clip leads on. And get them to bite. Now that's interesting. That's measuring much lower than I would expect. Somebody's unhappy here. Uh, that's the frequency range that was trashed on the meter. There's 100 hertz, getting closer to reality, 120 hertz, 1 hertz. Yeah, the 10 kilohertz range has failed on this meter. 100 kilohertz. So, you know, significant difference, but, but again, can't really say. Uh, which is right or which is wrong. It, you know, there's all kinds of considerations here, frequency and uh, just all kinds of considerations. So let's uh, throw him back in here. 974 versus 900. Eh. The 121 GW is definitely closer to the uh, published value. Let's find should have a 47 microfarad here, hopefully. Little tiny guy. Hopefully the glare on the screen isn't too bad. Fifty-one point five six, it's a forty-seven microfarad. That looks like a really good reading. Two. One measured a little higher, one measured a little lower. Uh, can actually throw a third meter in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Just because I'm curious. This guy's a little easier to use because the polarity that you connect to the cap doesn't matter. He came at 48 microfarads. So again, they're all in the, in the same ballpark here. Uh, so, you know, very reasonable, I think, for the 121 GW. Let's go ahead and set that aside. Let's grab one of these. I think it's 0.1 microfarad monster disc caps that needs to get back into, yeah, 104Z. So this is a 0.1 microfarad disc. This should be a ceramic disc. Open circuit or low, so maybe it's not capable of measuring that. Get on the. It's a 66, 67 at 100 hertz. Let's move the frequency around a bit. 67, 1 kilohertz. It's, of course, the dead frequency. Oh no. 
It's actually measuring in that case. So it's measuring, you know, 67 or 0 0.067. Uh, microfarad, boy, did I say that right? This should be 0.1 microfarad disk. Set him down. Again, this guy couldn't measure him. That's interesting. And these two, you know, actually gave me a measurement, though it looks, you know, a lot lower than the marking. That doesn't mean a whole lot. Uh, let's keep poking here. So I've got a, another bin of capacitors here. I have all kinds of bins of capacitors. And this should be a 224 or 22 or 0 0.22 microfarad. Let's see what we get. I wonder if that's in the wrong bin. That's so far off. Oh no, 173 versus uh, what should be 220 nanofarad. Okay, it's not remarkably off. I don't think we're going to be able to measure him on here. I mean, this is really meant for measuring ESR, electrolytics, and I'm throwing disc caps at it, so I'm not surprised it actually can't measure them. It's really an ESR meter and not a general capacitance meter. Hundred and eighty, again very much in sync with the uh, BK precision. See if I can find something really tiny here. Uh, I thought I had some picofarad caps in here. Yeah, it's 220 pico or 2200 picofarad. Okay, 2200 picofarad. Why not? While we're here, disc. Yeah, that's really close. Really close. 213 or, or, or 21,035 by what I've got marked in the box versus 22,000. Very close. Very close again. Looking for 22,000, and we're seeing 21,060 something. So, again, very close. Very happy with the capacitance range there. Uh, I've got some polyfilm caps floating around in here. This is a 2A2. I have no idea what value this guy is. It looks like, almost like a house marking on it. Uh, there's no voltage indication or anything else. So what is he really? So it looks like he's a what? Uh, 0.2, yeah, 0.28 microfarad polyfilm, most likely. Don't even know where these came from. Two hundred eighty-two. Nanofarad, so uh, very similar reading again. Very similar reading. Uh, not a whole lot else in this little box that I think is worth pulling. And we've got a nice box of tantalums here. We'll pull a tantalum. Oh, shoot, tantalum or two out and see what we get. So little one microfarad tantalum can't see the markings on it Let's see if other glasses will let me read this a little easier figure out which side is the negative lead that didn't really help okay positive is to the right Eight hundred ninety nanofarads, so a little bit short of one microfarad. Who's beeping here? You? Yes, you. Same thing here again. I would expect these to be pretty close. 
Yeah. So there's one microfarad. So what was that? About a hundred nanofarads difference between them, something like that. Again, no surprise. Uh, big old 220 microfarad camelum. Really old cap. Been in my stock for who knows how long. It's Mark 220. It measures 194. Push the frequency around a bit. That's obviously way off 21. Again, that range is bad on the meter. 211. That's really close at 100 hertz. So I would expect that. So yeah, the B and K is measuring it pretty well. What do we get over here off the 121 GW? Two hundred and fourteen microfarad. Very happy, very happy with the capacitance performance on the one twenty one GW. Uh, everything we've poked at it, it has worked well on. Uh, don't know that there's anything else worth throwing in here. Uh, very happy with the performance. You know, it's a general capacitance meter. It's got a great range. Uh, and it's worked well for the kind of common stuff I work with. So, very happy with that. So, I guess with that said, I'll end this segment here another short video. So, yeah. We'll talk soon.